got so many strip and drag. Might be a good fish. I don't know, guys. Might be a good one. He's fighting hard. Oh, yeah, it's a nice one. Yeah, nice one, guys. Yeah, good jump. Oh, yeah. I'm Captain C.C. Corey. Come with me and experience some of the most action-packed and adrenaline-filled fishing that North and Northeast Florida has to offer. We fish for everything from huge bass in freshwater to monster tarpon in saltwater, and everything in between. If you like seeing awesome jumps, if you like the sound of a screaming drag, Gosh! Man! If you like seeing big fish, well, you just might have found your channel. So sit back, relax, if you can, and let's see what we can hook into today with the North Florida Angler. Hey guys, CC Corey here in North Florida Angler. Well, the water temperatures are starting to warm up and that means those big bass are going to be moving shallow to spawn. Now's the time I like to get off those big crowded bodies of water like Rodman Reservoir and head to some of the smaller, lesser known lakes. One of my favorite ways to fish these lakes is a technique called pulling shiners. Basically what you're doing is you're using an electric trolling motor to slowly troll your shiners past shoreline vegetation and through shallow areas where the bass are moving up to bed. In this episode, I'm gonna show you guys how I do it and what a good day looks like using this deadly technique. Y'all check it out. All right guys, I gotta run. Let's see if I can get him. Drop it. All right, got something. It's pulling hard, guys. Might be a good one. Don't know. Pulling hard, real hard. It's hanging on the other line, but I don't care. Might have come loose. Strip and drag. Oh, no, don't get in a gator grass. Yeah, it's a good one, guys. He's fighting hard. Yeah, it's a nice one. Oh, yeah, there he is right there, guys. Let's see if I can get him. 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 I got him, guys. Yeah. That's a nice bass right there, guys. Shoot ya, shoot ya. Wow. Yeah, he gave me a great fight. There he is right there, wow. That one's gonna go over nine pounds. I'm almost positive, guys. Yeah, shoot ya, shoot ya. Let me get my scale out. Yeah. All right, guys, big old fish. There she is right there. Beautiful big old bass. Yeah, I think that fish's gonna go over nine. Let me weigh her and see how much she is. That is a beaut, guys. That's a beaut, okay. Okay, zero, zero. Okay. Nine pounds, seven ounces, guys. Yeah, yeah. Look at that big old mouth, guys. Yeah, shoot ya, shoot ya. <laughs> that is a beast, guys. That's a beast. What a fish. Beautiful fish. Yeah, shoot ya, shoot ya. Definitely a shoot ya moment, guys, definitely. All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and put her in a well and let her go later. Maybe I'll catch another one. Shoot ya. All 
Uh, one of my favorite ways to fish these small lakes, guys, is uh, a technique called pulling shiners. And what that means is you're basically using this trolling motor to uh, pull the shiners real slow along the shoreline grass. And uh, it's a great way to uh, uh, cover territory and find out where the bass are. Because in a lot of these small lakes, they're like fish bowls. There's not a whole lot to them. And the vegetation pretty much looks pretty much all the same all around it. And uh, no big changes in water depth in a lot of these lakes. So uh, it can make it difficult to find where the fish are. But by trolling these shiners, you can cover a lot of territory and uh, you can eliminate a lot of dead water. Because when you pull those shiners by where there's some bass, those shiners are gonna get scared, they're gonna start getting jumpy. And even if they don't get hit, uh, they'll let you know that the bass are there. And if you can't catch them trolling, you can always anchor down and, uh, and fish like that, you know, from an anchored boat. But uh, this trolling technique is deadly. I cannot tell you how many big bass over the years that I've caught using it. And uh, it's a great technique. And uh, it's great for these small lakes. Uh, a lot of these small lakes, guys, um, they'll hold some really big bass. And uh, even though they, some of them don't have uh, big reputations, you know, just about all of them have bass over 10 pounds in them. And the best time to fish these lakes, I like to fish them around January, February, and March early April, that's the best time to fish them when the fish are spawning. When they come up in that spawn and they're starting to stage, that is the best time to, to fish these lakes. Uh, when it gets real hot, uh, it, they're not that good. And when it's really cold, it's not good either. I like to fish these lakes when the water temperature starts to get, you know, right around uh, in the uh, low 60s. And uh, when it gets in the low 60s and above, that's when the fish will start biting. If it's in the 50s, you know, low, mid 50s, pretty much wasting your time. But let me show you how I like to rig these baits and uh, my strategy and whatnot. If I'm fishing by myself, if I'm fishing by myself, I like to generally put out two, two lines. Uh, I'll use a uh, five aught or six aught weedless hook and I'll hook one uh, through the lips and I'll just pull him right along the edge of the, of the shoreline. And, uh, and then the other one, I'll have another rod with a big float on it and a big uh, five uh, uh open uh, J hook that has a slight bend in it. And I've got a couple little rubber bands on there, if you see that. I'm gonna put a really big shiner on this one. Now these little rubber bands right here little pieces I put on, slid on the line, that keeps the hook from coming back and sticking in the shiner. When I'm fishing really big shiners, a lot of times uh, uh, if you don't have those rubber bands on there, when that bass grabs that bait, he balls it all up in his mouth and uh, the hook will come back and stick in the shiner. It's, it, that doesn't happen so much with the smaller to medium sized baits, but the real big ones, it does. And this will, this will help you. All right, let me get a couple of them out there and we'll uh, uh, put them on out. Okay, I like a pretty big shiner. There's one right there. I like a pretty good sized bait for the float rig. Hook him right through the lips. Slide a little rubber band down there. Okay, there he is right there. Okay, chuck him on out there. And what I do with this one, guys, I will set this one down and uh, this reel here, I like to have a reel has a clicker on it, okay? And I would just set this one down right in here, like that right there with the clicker on it, okay? And then I'll get a little bit smaller one out. This one has about had it. A little bit smaller one out. A medium sized one. There's one right there. Okay. So I have, uh, I kind of give them a choice of what they want. Whether they want a big one or a little bit smaller one. 
again I'll hook him right through the lips and I use the weedless hook here because this one's going to be uh, right up against the shoreline now with these weedless hooks guys I like to fix the hook you know, bend it a little bit like I'm doing there get it kind of I don't want it to spring straight up they don't spook a bass a lot of times I like to fix it where it pops off a little bit to the side like that and loosen up a little bit then I hook it right on there And this is the one that I'm going to be fishing right next to the shoreline. That reel needs a little grease on it. But there it is right there. Okay. And uh, all right, now I got my trolling motor on spot lock. But what I like to do, I like to sit here in the back because I got the little handheld device there. You know, I can work from the back, but whatever kind of trolling motor you have, it doesn't really matter. Yeah. And I like to troll real slow right along the edge of these grass lines. Just like this right here, guys. Yeah. That's what you do, guys. Just troll real slow right along this grass line. Yeah. And like I said earlier, be on the lookout. Be looking at your electronics. When I'm checking out a new lake, I'm always looking at my electronics. Because uh, a lot of times the residents will put out uh, brush piles and stuff to attract uh, crappie. And like I said, these, uh, those can be big bass magnets. So don't just look at the uh, shoreline uh, weeds. You're looking for other stuff. Sometimes there'll be big storms in previous years that have blown big trees over and there'll be big logs in the water. And that'll hold fish. Uh, you know, look for uh, old sunken boats and stuff. Um, one year I did really good uh, fishing over top of this old sunken boat that I found in this one lake. Because these lakes don't have a lot of structure, guys. They're, they're not like an artificial impoundment that has submerged creek channels and points and all that stuff in it. You know, uh, it, you know it doesn't have a whole lot of, of uh, stuff. They're like big fish bowls. So any type of structure that you can find, no matter how small it is, could hold a big bass or several big bass. All right, guys, um, I'm going to go ahead and turn these cameras off, and uh, I'll turn them back on when I get a hit. Actually, it's getting kind of jumpy right now. Very jumpy. All right, guys, I got to run. Let's see if I can get him. Okay, I got something. Oh, he's, he's pulling. He's in that grass. Gotta get him out of that grass. Darn it. Okay, I'm getting loose from it. I don't know yet. He's running this way. No, it's, it's not that big. It's a small one. But he was strong. Yeah, he was strong for his size. Yeah, shoot you. All right, come here, you little guy. Let me get you. Let me get you. Got him. All right, guys. It's one about, I don't know, two and three quarters, three pounds, something like that. You know, pretty bass. Yeah, pretty one. Yeah, but I want one a lot bigger than that, guys. You know me. I'm going to go ahead and chunk it back. See ya. All right, guys. I got to run. Let's see if I can get him. Dropped it last time. Let's see if I can get him this time. All 
Oh, I got something. They don't feel very big, though. Yep, small one. Good job, though. Float rig's getting a little jittery. He's fighting for a little guy, though. He's, oh, another good jump. You couldn't tell him he's small. Alrighty. There he is, guys. Let's see if I can get stem, little rascal. There he is, guys. Yeah, there's one about, I don't know, probably a pound and a half, two pounds. Let me get my pliers out. This one is down kind of deep. All right, guys, little bass about a pound and a half, two pounds, something like that. Chunking him back. Pretty little fish, though. See you later. All right, guys, I got to run. Let's see if I can get him. All right, got something. I don't think he's very big. Don't think he's very big. Nope. Nope, a small one, guys. A little one. Yeah, a little one. Coming up here, little guy. Yeah, a little one, guys. Probably about a pound and a half, chunking him back. All right, guys, I'm going to head to another spot. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, let that big fish go. And before I do that, I'm gonna show her to you one last time. All right, guys, there she is right there. Oh, she's trying to jump. She's all colored up from being in a live well, but she weighed uh, nine pounds, seven ounces. But there she is right there. Beautiful bass, beautiful bass. Yep, oh, she's strong too. But uh, there she is right there, guys. Big old fish, yep. All right, girl, I'm gonna let you back go now. There she goes, guys. All right, yeah. All right, guys, I gotta run. See if I can get him. He's coming out of open water. All right, got some many strip and drag. Might be a good fish. I don't know, guys, might be a good one. He's fighting hard. Oh yeah, it's a nice one. Yeah, nice one, guys. Yeah, good jump. Oh, yeah. Nice bass. Oh, yeah, it's a real nice bass, guys. Oh, yeah, real nice bass. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's barely hooked. He's barely hooked. Get his rod out of the way here. Come here, come here, baby, 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 let me get you, get you, got her. All right, guys, I think that fish is over 10. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Oh, my gosh, guys. Look at that sucker right there. Yeah. Yeah, I think that sucker's over 10, guys. Yeah, I think that sucker's over 10. Yeah, shoot you. Let me get my scale out. Wow. Okay, okay. Okay, let's see what we got here, guys. Wow, it's a pretty fish. Man, as soon as it strip, strip drag, I knew it was big. Okay, zero, zero. Okay. Oh, 
11, two guys, 11 pounds, two ounces. I knew that sucker was over 10. Wow, shoot ya, shoot ya, man. <laughs> look at that sucker right there, guys. Wow, look at that sucker. That is a beast of a fish right there, man. This has been a good day. Hadn't caught very many fish, but man, a 9.7 and a 11.2. Wow, man. Look at that big old mouth that's got there, guys. Yeah, look at that big old mouth. Yeah. Well, let me put her in the well and I'll let her go later. Shoot, yeah. Wait for that noisy airboat to get out of the way. All right, guys, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and grab that fish out of the well. I'm gonna get a quick length and girth measurement show her to you one last time, then I'm gonna send her on her way. Let her go right back in her home. Oh man, there she is guys, wow. What a beast of a fish guys, look at that sucker right there. Yeah, monster bass guys. All right, let's see what we got lengthwise. Okay, close mouth. Looks like she's uh, 20, 26 and a half inches long with a closed mouth. Girth, she's fat. Girth is Twenty, twenty and a half inches, guys, is the girth. Yeah, all right. Man, what a fish, guys. Yeah, there she is right there. Wow, look at that beast right there, guys. Look at that beast. 11 pounds, two ounces. What a monster fish, guys. What a monster fish. Yeah, there she is right there. Yeah, look at her. Wow. That is a giant, giant big old bass, guys. Big old bass. Oh, man. All right, there she goes, guys. Shoot, yeah. Wow. <laughs> what a beast of a fish, guys. Wow. She swam off great. 11 pounds, two ounces, and I think she was 26 and a half inches long, and I think a 20, 20 and a half inch girth, something like that. But man, what a beast of a fish. Uh, didn't catch very many fish today. Only caught, uh, I think it was six, and uh, the other four were really small, about pound and a half to two pounds. But anytime you can catch a nine, seven, and an 11, two in one day, that's a great day. Well guys, it's late, it's almost five. I got a long drive to get back to the house, so I'm gonna call it. Uh, I hope y'all enjoyed this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel, The North Florida Angler. Until next time, tight lines, good fishing. We'll see you out in the water.